All right, guys, we are getting started here in just a second. Almost there. Do 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 Sorry, guys. Just bear with me for a second, and I can start officially in about two seconds. Where the hell is that thing at? Don't you hate when you're looking for something and then you just can't find it? Let's see. And then, sorry for the music, it's a little slow. Something's going on with the thing, but it should be fine. Here we go. Alright guys, hello and welcome to Zamora Gaming. I am your host, Joe Zamora here, and we are doing a live stream of the Geriano Hack of Pokemon Sacred Gold, of course. And um, if you don't remember from the last stream I did, we did end up losing that one. So what I did was I didn't stream necessarily but I did record and upload on YouTube uh, what I did and I kind of ran through the game over again from the beginning so we kind of have a new team because uh, I played it exactly the way I was supposed to so Jolteon we now have a Jolteon instead of Aporeon because this time our total dial didn't die and then we caught a bell sprout, which I was excited for at first, but then realized we don't have that, uh, what you call it? There's that, that in-game trade for it, for the Onyx. And sorry, this music is going absolutely in freaking insane. Let me see if I can fix that. Alright, there we go. But we did get Champ up to level 16. If you remember last time, we were level 15 with the Charmander. That did not suit us very well. So I went ahead and just made it a uh, Charmeleon. Because I feel like it's going to really help us out in this battle. Then we have Chingale the Chingling. Which is a jolly nature. It wasn't great, but you know. It's a fodder mon if we need it. Then we have Derp, which I really like Quagsire, but we do have a water type, so we'll see if we actually need it. It's also here to be a fodder mod for now. I doubt it's going to stay that way, but we will see. But again, thank you guys for joining in, tuning in, and let's get ready to beat Faulkner this time around. Alright, here we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with DNA. And let's see how this goes. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying types Pokemon's wings with the jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to my bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Alright, Nick Painter, welcome! Thank you. I really hope I got this, because I don't want to lose again on stream. That'd be embarrassing. But I did, uh strategically make Jolteon a Jolteon because of course uh, we resist the electric type moves doesn't really help us defensively with with the um, normal type moves that these things got but you know 
Oh, and we get a critical hit there. So way to start off the battle there. Again, it doesn't help us against the normal type moves, but at least we can re start resisting some moves. Alright, so I think Pidgeotto's coming out right now. So we're going to go ahead and go champ here. My ace versus his. And we're going to just go ahead and go for an, a Dragon Rage here. We outspeed. Wonderful. And of course we knew it was going to live there. But, I mean, it does the most damage. Might as well. Orenberry hits off. Get some HP back. We can live the Aerial Ace a lot better this time around. And Dragon Rage again. And down goes the Pidgeotto. Clearly a different battle. Whew. Still nerve wracking though. Alright, so the Chatot is coming in. The Pokemon that did hurt us a lot in the last battle. <laughs> Alright man, thanks Nick Painter. I can't wait for you to join back again. Alright. Hopefully we'll still be playing. This game, anyway. Alright, so we have Chatot that hits the field, and obviously it has that uh, chatter move. But it's going for uproar. Let's see how well we take this. Ooh, not well at all. But we do get a scratch off. Not a scratch off ticket, but we got a scratch off. And we're going to have to go ahead and go to one of our fodder mons because we don't want to lose our total dial this early again. But the uproar is getting stronger, so that can be an issue. So, Chingale goes down, so sadly we do have a, a death in this battle again. But Champ being evolved should be faster than Chatot, so let's go ahead and go for this Dragon Rage. Alright, so we did have damage off on it, it should be under 40 HP, and it is. So Champ goes ahead and boosts up to level 17. There's no such thing as over leveling in these games because obviously we're always battling a full team of six. And you never know what can happen in these battles. But we're going to go ahead and switch out uh, Charmeleon here and go into DNA. We have a Farfetch'd on the field and we're going to go ahead and go with Bite. Ooh, did not do much. Not very effective either. Oh, it's part fighting type. Alright, so it does go for the poison jab, which is very interesting that it gets that. But we're going to go ahead and just go for the tackle here, neutral damage, critical hit, which is good for us. But he does get off another poison jab. But this tackle should take it out, and let's see what Pokemon he has left. I think this is as far as we got last time. Okay, so we got a Murkrow coming in. And we're going to go ahead and go to Champ here because it has more health. Whew, I'm getting nervous. Alright, so Murkrow is level 14. And I'm going to go for the Dragon Rage again, of course, because Dragon Rage does 40 damage every time. Oh, and it lives on one naturally. Alright, so we should be faster. Oh no, it's speed tie. Aerial Ace comes off. Ooh, and we live it. Ooh, thank goodness. Alright, so Champ takes down another Pokemon. And now there's a Swablu hit in the field. Obviously, we have to switch. We're going to go DNA here. Alright, the Swablu is also level 14. The wind is finally with us. Alright, so let's go ahead. No, not Pokeball. We need to heal up here. Alright, so we get some potion off on our Jolteon here. Uh oh, what's it going for? It absorbed light. Oh, Power Herb. It's Sky Attack. Oh, Solar Beam. Very interesting. Good thing we didn't go Total Dial here. Alright, so that was a critical hit, so I'm not too worried about that. We're going to go ahead and go for the Bite here. 
Let's get the flinch. Oh, it's going for it again. But that is fine. We we took a critical hit pretty well. So let's just go ahead and go for the bite again. And solar beam does come off. Oh, that's a trippy sound. We can still fly. All right. Let's go ahead and get our potion up. Just in case it has some crazy move I'm not expecting. Okay, so it goes Roost. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and go Bite again. I mean, it's going to be one of those battles right here. Oh, he gets the Mirror Move. Alright, bite doesn't do much to us, which is great. We'll go ahead and bite again, and he roosts again. Okay. So he doesn't have much to hit us. I'm going to go ahead and use my last potion on champ. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. He's going solar beam here. I'm going to switch out to a resisted move. We take the solar beam. Obviously pretty well, I would assume. Okay. So I believe we should be able to take any other move he goes for. We're going to go for Dragon Rage here. And Swablu goes down. Wonderful. Champ gets the 1-1-1. One, one, one. And so does Jolteon. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat. Alright, take the official Pokemon League badge. This one's a Zephyr badge. <laughs> Excuse me. Joe received the Zephyr badge from Faulkner. That badge, Pokemon up, including traded Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. It also enables you to use a hit and, re hit and move rock smash anytime outside of battle. Oh, sorry. I hit my headset and we get TM 51 roost so now we could be annoying and have a roosting Pokemon all right well we did it guys we got our very first gym badge oh and I accidentally already have it showing so <laughs> there we go the Zephyr Badge. Okay. Anyways, Professor Elm's calling us about the egg Pokemon. Oh, no, I didn't want to call the mother. What the hell? I think she stopped saving money for us. Oh, well, that's fine. Well, now we gotta go collect our Togepi egg and put Chingale in the PC box because it fainted. So, you did great, my jolly friend. But now you deserve to be in the egg. I mean, in the thing. Did our sparrow faint? I believe it did. I think the unknown did too. Alright, well, we're gonna go ahead and can uh, leave the box and go talk to the little. Well, let's heal first before we forget to do that. Bling, bloom, bling, bloom, blam! Alright, here we go. Now we can go get our Togepi egg. I believe it's still a Togepi egg. I'm not 100% sure. Oh wow, he gave us the EXP share. So we have that now. Who gives us the egg? Uh, you know what? I think it's at the Pokemon thing. Oh, the Pokemart. But screw it. Let's go ahead and see what else other people give us. I'm a fan from TV show. 
Tell me what you think of me? Yes. Uh, let's see. Super, let's just say this. Super talented. We can find it. Okay, well, super luck. Talent. He's a super luck talent, man. Oh my, is that how you feel about me? I never thought anyone could feel that way about me. Alright, well, I guess we gotta figure out a specific word, but I'm not gonna do all that. Alright, a guy named Bill does the PC system here. I know that. Pokemon are really smart. Okay, good for you. I wanted items. I didn't want meaningless conversation. Well, I guess we got that anyway. Let's go ahead and go pick up this Pokemon egg. Oh, and potentially whatever our mother gave us. A super potion. Long time no see, Joe. I got this from Professor Elm for you. You want this egg? Yeah, I want the egg. It's my eggs. I do what I want with them. Alright, he's basically just saying walk around and the egg will eventually hatch. So that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and buy potions as well. So we're not fools. All right, we'll buy four super potions. Uh, two antidotes. So one paralyzed heal. And one awakening, just to be safe. Jesus Christ, I don't know why the game slows down like this. No, that's it. Thank you very much. Emulators, what are you going to do? Alright, well, we already kind of... Exp oh, my God, what's happening? Me, oh, my, that egg must be... I see, so it's handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Helm. To you! Now I get it. The egg is truly an important egg. Please do take care of it for me. Is that understood? Who are you? I'm counting on you. And how did you know I got an egg? I'm not even carrying it. It's in my backpack. Oh my god, what's this? Joe, I must say, I rather enjoyed our battle. I'd like to give you my phone number. Alright, cool. So we got Faulkner's number. So I guess that means uh, we'll be able to challenge him later. But I don't want to do that because we barely beat him this time. So... With that being said, we can finally move on, I believe. We already did the puzzle and everything on the other side. If you, I mean, I did it on stream too. So, I'm sure you didn't miss it if you watched the last one. And I actually caught a Pokemon here already. That was the Hooper. Alright, let's see. What's up? What's the hurry? You got some good Pokemon there. Uh, as a souvenir, here's a, here's a miracle seed, since you don't have a grass type Pokemon. Oh, well, you got a bell sprout, but you know, bell sprout's trash. But with that being said, let's go ahead and switch Captain Crunch up to the front, so we can start getting some levels on that thing. And of course, two steps in, we already got a wild Pokemon encounter. And not against the best Pokemon to get an encounter with against my Captain Crunch over here. Alright, so we actually have a hidden ability, uh, Jolteon. So, not the best ability. I don't really care for Quick Feet unless it's Draft League. But, you know, we can make it work. It's still resisted. To electric moves. Uh, 
Oh, and it's not very effective. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and try to run away here. Try not to waste too much time. We do want to try to get to the second gym. Oh, and the cut tree is not here, so we can actually come this way. Roar! People run away from me a lot, so I'm gonna give this TM away. So we got TM for Roar. Probably won't be using it, but we have it nonetheless. And I don't want double battle shenanigans. So I'm gonna go ahead and just battle this guy straight up. Plus, the other lady looked like a grass Pokemon trainer, and we don't want those shenanigans either. So we're gonna go ahead and water gun the Sandshrew. Doesn't do enough, but it's it does something. Over half is key. Alright, so Sandshrew goes down to a second water gun. And let's go ahead and see what we can do now. Okay, we got an Onyx, so we can stay in. We are sand attacked, so our ev our Accuracy is down one, but doesn't bother Toto die with those big ol' eyes. And down goes Onyx. And up goes our EXP bar. Wonderful. But yeah, that next lady looks like a grass type trainer, so I'm definitely switching to champ here. Here we go. Let's see if we're right. I haven't seen you around here before, so you think you're pretty tough? A lady, I was literally walking. You stopped me. Parasol Lady Joan. Alright, so she actually has Mareep. Which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and go for Dragon Rage here. Let's see if this Mareep has the HP to live. And it doesn't! Beautiful one hit KO. And Champ is 18. Or level 18. Alright, so we got a Drifloon coming in. We're gonna go ahead and go to Captain Crunch here. I think Captain Crunch could handle a Drift Loom pretty well. And we're going to go ahead and go for the bite. So the Gust comes off, does some pretty decent damage. But the bite does better damage. And we're going to go for the bite one more time and take down this Drifloon. Ooh, the Aftermath. I almost forgot about that. Good thing we still had some HP to work with. And very good HP. So good thing Captain Crunch got to uh, get some battling there. And let's go ahead and go for this item, see what it is. A repel! A repel is always nice. Oh man. What is this mess? We already have a Pokemon in this route, we don't need another one. Alright, so we're gonna run away safely here. So basically, our main team right now is uh, Totodile. Uh, Jolteon and Charmant, Charmeleon, but we do have other Pokemon at our disposable, uh, disposable, at our, at our disposal as well. Jesus, can't talk. So let's go ahead and heal up our Totodile, so it can do battle against this camper here, who normally has some Nidorans. So let's see how this goes. I accept your challenge, you fool. You will die. Alright, so it sticks with the Nidoran here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go for the water gun. Let's see. Nope, not half. Poison soon comes off. Does no damage, which is good for us. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the bite here. See if that does a little more damage. Looks like it would have done about half of a regular HP. And to avoid uh, the poison point, we're gonna go water gun again to just hit it down. To knock it out, I should say. And Ponyta comes in, and that's definitely a Pokemon we can we can deal with. Hey, Nick Painter, welcome back. Um, not really a casualty. We did lose a Pokemon, but it was a fodder Pokemon, so it wasn't too big a deal. We handled the gym pretty nicely too. If you want to watch that again, you can always uh, rewind the stream, I believe. But I will also be putting it on YouTube. Okay. Whew. Oh, and Ponyta to live that first water gun, so we're getting off a second one right here. Ooh, with the burn. Sadly, we didn't buy any burn hills. But, Camp Crunch levels up to level 18. And anyone who knows anything about Pokemon knows what happens next. Camp Crunch is evolving. Woo! Man, Josh Jacobs scored a touchdown, and I did not have him starting on my fantasy league. That would happen. And I had Derek Card started on my draft league, and he got hurt. If that ain't about a snitch. Oh, something that rhymes with snitch anyway. But we did defeat the hiker, and we have a beautiful evolved boy. So, at least we could be happy about that. Alright, now we're going to come uh, down this way. What's up, Salamandro? Welcome to the stream, man. How's life? Let's go ahead and come around here. Oh, man. And get uh, Jolteon up to level 18 as well. He ugly? Who ugly? Jolteon? I like Jolteon. It's one of, it was originally my favorite uh, evolution. Now it's hard to decide which one is my new favorite. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go for the tackle here. Yeah, <laughs> I should have gotten Chikorita. Hey, Karkinaw's not ugly. Well, yeah, he is ugly, but he's a beast. That's the one thing you have to give him. He can take down a lot more Pokemon than Chikorita can. And then especially since this is a Drayano heck, uh, Chikorita is definitely not good for the first gym. Six bird Pokemon. Alright, so we take down the Poliwag, and now Goldeen comes in. Uh, things that Curtis are doing pretty good. It hasn't been too bad. We have a Christmas party tomorrow, and um, I think Christmas bonuses are coming up soon. So, hopefully those are good. I doubt there will be that much, but we'll see. Anything helps. And down goes Goldeen. Alright, Rim Raid's coming in. But yeah, other than that, just natural. It's not too bad, I guess. People are pretty chill. Alright, we're gonna get the bite off. It does have damage. How are things with your new job? Oh, and the Aurora Beam comes off. And it does some decent damage. Where are you working right now? So DNA grew. What the hell? My butt's itchy. This is, this is dumb. Uh, 
Ah. Uh, Fisherman Justin. All right, so I think this is the guy's the thing with like twenty thousand magic carps. So this is definitely gonna be a chill and talk uh, battle right here. Oh, maintenance. That's cool. I used to do maintenance. Ow, my foot burns. It's right next to my ankle. I don't know why it itches so bad. All right, let's go ahead and get a super potion up. Ah, I'm gonna be in agony all the way to the next city. All right, well, that didn't do much. So, go ahead and get off the bite. Oh, reversal. This Magikarp showing off what it can do. Oh, bubble. Sadly, it's not doing much damage, but it, at least it has a move pool. Magikarp was showing some love in this game. All right, now we have a Feebas coming in. And we're just going to go ahead and bite away there as well. Oh my god. My leg burns. I think I itched it too much. Or scratched it too much, I should say. Because, I mean, I scratched it earlier and it was fine. And I guess just rubbed it the wrong way, maybe. Ah! But it burns. What the hell is wrong with my foot? I'm going to have to cut it off. This pain's too excruciating. Can't live like this. And DNA finally takes down the Magikarp Drainer. We got 320. Oh, also, guys, uh, we just need four more uh, followers to reach our goal of 100 followers. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and leave a follow. And share the stream if you can. Ow. Also, if uh, you like Pokemon Conquest, I have put up some uh, episodes. Uh, episode 2 premieres tomorrow at 6 in the morning. So, I do have videos of that coming out. I will be recording more. And that's just a regular playthrough, so it's not streamed at all anywhere. So that's strictly on YouTube. But I will be posting the links here on Facebook. And then... The second episode of the podcast is recorded. I still need to upload. I've been having an issue with one part of the video not wanting to be uploaded. So... Trying to figure things out to where I can actually get that up and going because that's, a, that's probably the best part of the battle. I mean, best part of the video is the battles and just commentation and chitter chatter between everyone who's participating. But, ah, I'm in pain. This isn't normal. But we are biting away at this quillfish, and bulky as it is, keeps going hardened. Surprisingly, no water move yet. We're gonna go ahead and switch out just to hurry up this part of the battle, because I don't see us taking that thing out before it takes us out with poison. All right, poison comes off, and we're gonna go ahead and dragon dance here. I mean, dragon rage. I wish Dragon Dance. The bulkier it gets, what? The harder it falls. Ooh, quick attack. Forget a move. Uh, let's forget helping hand. Remember, tackle does do more damage, so. Quick attack would just be utility, in a sense. 
young people don't like me. Well, it's because you're old, pervert. Registered the phone number in the Pokenav. Oh, he's so happy to have a young friend. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. And I'm not trying to have fainted be a thing. So DNA was cured. There's no more COVID. DNA's been cured. Alright, there's no battle over here. Interesting. But let's go ahead and heal up while we have a chance. Ooh, man with a whooper. I wonder what that could entail. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. And also, guys, uh, my birthday is on Monday, so you can grant me one birthday wish. Go ahead and share my stream where you can so more people can get involved. Oh, he gave me TM03. Water Pulse. Ooh, that's good. We needed something like that. Bonjour. How are you? Are you picking the Uppercons? Uh, yes I am. What a goal with the Uppercon collector. I feel so great I want to give you these. He's luring me with balls. That's... it's better ballistic over there. Oh, okay. So he's just kind of telling us that Kurt makes special balls if you give him apricots. Uh, what should I make my Pokemon hold? Maybe an item that increases its attack power? A choice ban. They didn't have life or in this generation. Well, let's go ahead and know there's a battle we're missing out on over here somewhere. Just got to figure out a way. A whooper! And for football fans, if you ain't watching this game, it's pretty tight. 17 to 17. Chargers have the ball. Alright, let's go ahead and try to get around there. There we go. I want that Pokeball. I want to know what it holds inside. Is it the power? Is it the power that's inside? Oh, it's Bullet Seed. Fantastic. Alright, well, we don't need that. So we're gonna keep walking over here. And look for that battle I know is here. Oh, yeah! It's another picnicker. The glance. It's intriguing. What glance? What are you talking about, freak? Camper Rolling sent out Nidoran. Jolteon is sent out. To bite! Jolteon, use bite! Oh, that was a good catch. Oh, oh, that's a touchdown! Alright. Uh, Jolteon goes ahead and makes another bite. Oh, is that an interception? He looked like he had more possession than the other guy did. Oh, that's a challenge. Challenge it. Challenge it! You fool. Oh, they challenged it. Oh, no. Delay a game. Wow, you would have thought they would have challenged that. I don't think they can now. That should have been intercepted. Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. Uh, back to Pokemon here. Uh, Diglett comes out against Jolteon, so obviously I wasn't staying in. I go to Captain Crunch, who could take a hit a little bit better from ground type, and dish some out. So, Water Gun, we go. And I don't know why, but I should have already taught it uh, the Water Pulse. And Pikachu comes in. Oh, it's about to come in. We're going to go DNA. Excuse me. And funny thing about uh, this game is Drayano makes these Pokemon really competitive. So 
Pikachu could have Grass Knot for all we know. DNA use bite. And down goes a Pikachu! A Pika! He's Pika dead. Alright, so we beat that camper and now we officially beat the Pokemon on this. I mean, trainers on this route. And we can start moving on. Through the cave. I went brain dead for a second. Alright, this doesn't count. I just want to see if it lives on one. Oh, I guess not. Whatever. I think it does live on one of these games, though. But we made it, so it's fine. We'll test it out. I'll test it out off screen, so it's not really counting then. But if I remember correctly, it does live on one. It just drains its HP all the way down. There used to be a battle here too. Oh, he made a force battle. You have to do the battle there now. But no cut over here, so we get our Soothe Bell. Soothe Bell makes Pokemon more friendly to you. So, if we catch like a Riolu, I'm just kidding, but it's possible. But yeah, if you get a Riolu, you can get it friendly and it'll evolve. Alright, let's see. We have Staravia hitting the field, and DNA is up front. Luckily, we did have that there, but the Intimidate does suck. So we're going to go bite here, and he goes Quick Attack. Doesn't do much damage, but with us Intimidated... Oh, critical hit! We did a great amount of damage. Let's see if we can take it out here after the Intimidate, and we do. Beautiful. Staravia goes down. Not too much of an issue. Alright, so now we have Elekid. We're going to go Champ here. Let's just go Dragon Rage. It's the baby Pokemon, so it shouldn't have too much HP. Oh, yeah. Goes down without a problem, and that was fast interference. Don't even pretend it wasn't, sir. All right, Oddish is coming in, and Charmeleon can finally use its fire type move. <clears throat> Ooh, and it lives. Sweet scent. Oh wow, that's interesting. Did you hear that? The move went. La 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 la. All right, and Champ gains a level. Staying the Pokemon that stays on top. Nidoran's coming in, so we're going to go ahead and go to Captain Crunch. All right, we're going to go... Ah, oh, I should have switched the water move already. It's okay, we'll go Water Gun here. Let's see how much this does. Not enough. Not even close. But Poison Sting does come off. No poison, which is good. We're going to go ahead and go for Bite. Maybe get a flinch. No, no flinch. But Double Kick comes off. We are not poisoned. Ooh, and it was a critical hit, Double Kick. But we do get the Bite off again. And down goes Nidorino. It's evolved. And then... A level to our Captain Crunch here. Joe got 840 for winning. And to be on the safe side, we're going to go ahead and heal up. And now we wait for our Pokemon to come back into their bowls. Well, back into my hand. And I got an egg Pokemon. So that's why we only have five Pokeballs to give the lady. 
to the lady. Hey, lady. Union Cave. All right, now we can get a new encounter. I mean, before we do anything, I need to stop being a numb nut and actually give Water Pulse to a Pokemon because we're going to need it. So, Captain Crunch, time for you to get a new move, sir. Get rid of that water gun. You do not need it. And Water Pulse. Beautiful. Our team is looking on the up and up. And let's see what Pokemon we end up catching here. Ooh, we see an Aeron. Now we just gotta catch it. Alright, Captain Crunch, you're the guy to be out here right now. Alright, let's go ahead and go for a bite. I don't want to go Water Pulse because I know that'll knock it out for sure. Okay, bite again. Bite slap. Accuracy falls. Bite. Sorry guys, this is going to be a long and boring little battle here, but biting is what we need to do. I'm not trying to kill this thing. I think about three more bites and we should be good. Ooh, ooh, don't touch it. Don't touch it again. Oh boy. That critical hit came at the perfect time. Alright, Pokeball. Go! Sweet. We got a freaking Aeron on our team. Aeron was caught. The only thing it evolves super late. And we're going to name this thing the only name I've ever named it. Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Alright, and it's sent to the PC. We'll see if we uh, need to train it up. Let's see here. Oh, we can just get this thing. X attack. I'll take it. I'll take it like a free sample at a supermarket. Alright, DNA. You're going to have to kind of take a back seat here. To Cap Crunch. And it is going to be a while before, uh, oh, Makahita. They got a fighting, a fighting type. But, you know, a rock still type never hurts either. Jolteon, you're going to take a back seat for a little while. Uh, you're going to make great rapport whenever you get a thunder type, uh, electric type move. But for now, we're taking on this fire breather. Ooh, Volpix at level 16. Ooh, boy. Well, luckily, we didn't have to risk it, Nick. Because I was too nervous to actually go for it. I think it's neutral. But I didn't want to, you know, get too crazy with it. And especially since it's a lot stronger than, uh, than a regular water gun. All right, so we take down that Vulpix, and we're going to go ahead and see what's downstairs. And also heal. You know what? Uh, so, Jolteon doesn't fall too far behind. I can give it the EXP share. It was carrying my team, and now it's sitting back and enjoying the free EXP. 
All right, now we got a Zubat here, and as you can see, we have to deal with excuse me, a bunch of annoying. Oh, underthrown Mariota. A bunch of annoying random Pokemon popping up. There we go. And we are at the... Oh, this is Union... Oh, yeah. We've been in Union Cave. Duh. Alright. I don't think we'll be able to explore too much of it. But at least we're here. And sorry for the game lag. Again, emulators tend to be at their own pace sometime. Ooh, X speed. Take it. So we are a little lagging. But we get Rock Tomb. That's a that's a good move. I don't know who we're gonna give it to yet. But yeah, that's why we shouldn't be running. The more you run, the more Pokemon come at you. Alright, we do have a repel. And we'll use it as soon as we get up the stairs. And after we beat the hiker over here. Hopefully we can get there without being interrupted. Ooh, water. And we do! Wonderful. Whoa, what a surprise. I didn't expect to see anyone here. Dude, there's literally a man breathing fire to your left. Alright, Water Pulse it is! Onyx needs to go down here. And it does! DNA goes to level 19. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Can we push our luck and make it to this hiker? Oh, no, of course not. Ooh, another Aaron. All right, Nick. Here's where we test the theory. Water pulse. I mean, granted, it could have been a different nature, but we'll see. Nope, it does not. Oh, it's super effective. Yeah, it definitely wasn't going to live a hit. So good thing we didn't do that. All right, hiker. Do your least. Because I don't want to lose a Pokemon here. Alright, Geodude comes off. Easy Water Pulse. And down goes Geodude. And then whatever else he decides to send out, we can Water Pulse as well. Yeah, guys. How's everything going? How's y'all's lives? Mine is good. Can't complain at the moment. Work is fine. Life is fine. Cars are good. A lizard sleeping. Um, cat sleeping. So everything's going good so far. Can't complain. Plan on going on vacation soon, so. It's going to be much needed and much relaxing. TNA? Alright. So, oh shoot. Let's go ahead and finally use our repel. I know we'll be able to use one, buy one eventually. Oh man, and we already wasted some steps here. I love the running water effects when we're right by the water. Alright. Now let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Zubat, Supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. Well, get over it. Life isn't all gumdrop and rainbows. Alright, let's go ahead and go Water Pulse here. Coughings are, of course, very 
physically bulky. Ooh, poison gas comes off and misses. So we're going to go ahead and get the scratch off on the coughing. And down it goes. Hell of a throw, Mariota. All right, so Magby's coming in now. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, she has a fire type Pokemon in this one. Water Pulse comes off. And Nick, can you do me the favor of telling me what level Bugsy's Ace is? Because we need to be on par with that. Charmander comes out, and we're going to go ahead and keep Water Pulsing there. Or anyone viewing. It's uh, the Drayano hack, so for sure it's going to be different than normal. I flamed out. All right. Perfect. Croconaw is running through teams here. And we have a great ball now. Just in case we get a wild Abra on the next encounter. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Hey, like the song. Are you looking for Pokemon too? Then you're my collecting rival. Yeah, and this will be the only time we ever meet, so... I guess we're not that much of rivals either. Huh? Alright, Slowpoke comes in. Nope, not a problem. Let's go ahead and go for the bite. Oh, Mariota took off like a bat out of hell. Oh, that's a late hit. No flag? Wow. That was a late hit like you won't believe. Ooh, a Cubone's coming in. Wonderful time to use a Water Pulse. And Cubone goes down. Cubone, bone, bone. That's my wife's favorite Pokemon. And I just demolished it. Uh oh. Looks like um, Champ is getting left behind. So we're going to take the item from DNA and give it to Champ here. And oh, the repel wore off, so we can't be running around anymore. Oh, that's a penalty. Oh, yeah. You call that blatant penalty, but you don't call the first blatant penalty. It's kind of wag, G. All right. Anyway, Zubat uh, gets in our way. So we avoid that battle. Coming down this way. Let's go ahead and get that last Pokeball here. Awakening! I'm awakened. You have awakened my true potential. Yeah! Ooh, Pokey. Pokey. Uh, apricot trees. There we go. Oh, Apricorn. Dumb. No, there's none there. All right, this apricot, apricorn tree, apricorn, and we get a pink one. Ooh, it's a pink one. Ooh, piss candy. All right, let's, what do you have to say, lady? Pant, pant. I finally got through the cave. It was much bigger than I expected. That's what she said. I got too tired to explore the whole thing, so I came outside. That's also what she said. So let's see what wild encounter we get here. Ooh, a slack off. That could be very interesting. Oh, Captain Crunch. Come do what you gotta do, sir. We're just gonna go ahead and go for a scratch. Hopefully it doesn't knock it out. Oh, not by any means. Alright, but it does get the yawn off, so we're going to go ahead and avoid that. And we're going 
go DNA here. Rain continues to fall as its true line ability uh, comes off. We go for the tackle here. Oh, critical hit. And we get encored. But luckily, we can just throw Pokeball now. And we'll catch ourselves a slack off. Sweet. We caught a slack off. Alright, guys. Let's see what we should nickname it. It's a slacking Pokemon. It slacks off a lot. We're gonna call it. We're the little. We're gonna nickname it Coma. So, cause it sleeps so much, it might as well be in a coma. All right, now let's go ahead and do this battle here. Hiker Anthony sent out to Geodude. 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 Alright, Geodude. Prepare to die. Water Pulse kicks off here. And takes down the Geodude, of course, no problem. Let's see. Machop comes out next. We're going to go ahead and send Champ out here. Champ, I think you handle a little Machop. At least I'd hope so. We're gonna go ahead and Dragon Rage this thing. Cause our fire type moves won't do enough. Okay, whoo! Focus energy. That's fine. All right, now we go Scratch. Should take it out. And down goes Machop. Wonderful! Wonderful, beautiful, talented Charmeleon! You are my favorite Pokemon! And I would always have you in my heart. Alright guys, we officially beat Faulkner, like I said in the title, we would. And now we are officially in Azalea Town. Oh, what's, what's this? Who are you? You don't know us. We are Team Rocket! What? We broke up a while ago. Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once. But we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambitions. Enough talking! Shut up and just beat it! Oh shit, he pushed that old man to the ground. And now he's just like, <laughs> my wishing well. No one else can join the fun. Alright, well anyway. That's a fun little encounter there. Let's go ahead and see what we can find in here. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? <laughs> Why yes, yes I do. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Sweet. All right, so we do have an Aeron in the PC that we, I, I really want to put it on my team. I haven't been able to use an Aeron in a Nuzlocke in a long time. These Pokemon are alive. So we're going to put those in their respective boxes. Alright, change box. Now we're in box one. And I really want to put Iron Man. Oh, sturdy with the hard stone. Sweet. It is gentle nature, so it's neutral. Um, I'm going to leave Bellsprout out for now. Ooh, a calm, unaware derp. That actually could come in handy later, so I'm going to put that off to the side. Because we do have a Water-type Pokemon. Welcome, Linda, to the stream. My beautiful wife is here watching with us. 
Oh, Ralph. Ralph, I'm not talking to you. Hey, kid, want to rock out? No. Ah, your answer barely matters. Don't even have an instrument. For props for talking to me, I'll give it to you. Here is... Oh, an electric-type move. Shockwave. Yeah. Don't mind if I motherfucking do. Shockwave goes on to Jolteon, of course. And now he has an actual move he can use with his modest nature. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get rid of Sand Attack. And now we have it. Excuse me. An electric move! Ooh, and we can give Rock Tomb to Aeron. You'd like to take a quiz. Quigs. Quiz. Yes. Is Sableye the only Pokemon to have star ability? Yes. Oh, sweet. We got it right. That was a guess. Is the Lax Incense required in order to breed Munchlax? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. It's not that one. It's another one. It's the full incense, I think. Yes. And then no. I wanted to say no. Alright. Is it true that Reversal has a maximum power of 150? No. I, 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 I guessed. Alright, so here we go again. Yes. Yes, Sableye is the only stall Pokemon. Lax is not necessary. No Reversal does not have a maximum of 150. Oh, Yes, I guess on that one. So Gardevoir actually does have a higher base death than Alakazam. I'm assuming with the bulk and HP. Congratulations, you complete the quiz. You cannot pick a prize Pokemon. Ooh, yeah. Everything in my mind is telling me to pick Mudkip, but we have for, uh, for a total Croconaw, so we don't need a water type. I'm going to go Trico. It is my favorite starter of, of the three. So I'm going to go Trico. Trico. What is your nickname? Um, funnily enough, I never nicknamed my Tricos. So let's go with... Let's go with 420 because he's a grass type. How creative I am. No one's done that before. I am the original. I am the number one. Okay, so she's just telling us about apricorns. Green bean would have been good. Oh, and Mariota dives in for the touchdown. Well, that guy had nothing to say. And... A Gibble? Trade for a Beldum? I don't have a Gibble. But would I trade a Gibble for a Beldum? Probably. Alright, so now we have... Now we're getting a squad together. We got a Lonely Croconaw. We got a Modest Jolteon. We got a Gentle Aeron. We got a Bold Nature... Charmeleon. I can't, I don't know why I couldn't think of the name. And we got a Lonely Nature uh, Trico, so that's not too bad. So, let's see here. We can give Bullet Seed to our Trico. Now that we got a Grass Pokemon to use it. And we can be just like Ash and, give, and teach it Bullet Seed. Oh, it's attack is horrendous. Oh, it's not too bad. It's a defense is horrendous. So, let's not put it in against a physical attacker. Alright, so, quick attack and pound do the same. So, I'm going to get rid of pound for bullet seed. And I'm going to go ahead and put 
Rock Tomb on Iron Man. Because it has a hard stone, might as well use it. We're going to go ahead and get rid of Tackle. And now that we have Headbutt, maybe we can get a Pokemon in the city. When the lights go out in the city. Yes, Headbutt. And it is nighttime in the game, I believe, so something should fall out. Maybe get Heracross? Ooh, imagine? Okay. I don't know how long it takes for a Pokemon to fall out the tree, but I'm gonna keep hitting this thing. Nothing's falling out of that tree, so I'm gonna come this way. Maybe closer to the wild. Yes, I'd like to headbutt this tree. Nothing wants to fall out of the trees. Alright, two more times, and if nothing falls out the tree, it's whatever. Please come to me, Pokemon. Eh, well, nothing happened. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we are going to explore a little more of Azalea Town, fight the gym leader, and figure out why Team Rocket is running amok. I'm sure everyone knows, but we need to get into that slowpoke well. Well, where Team Rocket is doing something disgusting. And, yeah, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, support by leaving a follow. We are four members away from 100, which is would be great to get for my birthday. Um, but, yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.